Hey, thanks for joining us in another video today. Uh, today, we're going to discuss how to use a car access tool car opening kit. Okay, this is uh, one of the most popular kits that I've seen for car opening. This is the one that we use. It's our go to per se. So let's break it down what comes in this pack. So this is the long reach tool. We call it our, our long reach tool. You notice the tip of it has a rubber guard on it so that it doesn't damage the buttons. And the idea is you basically put this inside the door and you either hit the unlock button, you pull the handle, or sometimes you have to roll down the window with it. So it just depends on the situation. But if the uh, this is a metal uh, bendable, you could actually bend this if you wanted to. See, I could easily bend it and it'll permanently bend. Uh, so sometimes you have to bend it in and arch it one way or another. So it gives you the ability to, to bend it to whatever angle you need to get. And it also protects the vehicle from getting scratched and damaged with this tip on the end. So, uh, and it's pretty good length too, because if you're doing like an 18 wheeler or something, this is, may not work or a U-Haul. Sometimes these don't work either. But anyway, so this is a long reach tool. Then you get one of these little bags that come with it. Okay. And in this bag here, You've got some little pamphlets and stuff they put in here, but we'll just stick to the important things. Uh, one is your pry tool, okay? You could use this end to get into something if you need to, or this right here to, to basically pry the door. And the reason what you want to use that for is whenever you are putting in the airbag, that creates room. The uh, This pry bar right here creates room so that this bag can slip it in there a little bit better. And then you blow up the bag, creates the space, you stick the long tool in there and do what you need to do. Sometimes uh, you can't hit the button or the button doesn't work, or it's a luxury vehicle like Lexus or something like that. And as soon as you hit the button, it immediately locks back. So it's a safety feature. So if you're doing that, then you have to kind of play the game of hit pull, right? And try to time it to get it right, to get it open. So in this kit, you have the long reach tool, which we went over. You have the airbag, your pry tool, and then you have your strap tool. Now, this strap tool, um, you know how you have a little post to come up and down on the doors like this when you lock and unlock vehicles? They come in different shapes, but you can use this basically, stick it in between the door, and it has like a little sandpaper texture kind of on it right here. So you stick this in the door, if you pull on the left side, it'll move that way. You pull this way, it'll move that way. You get it on there, hold it tight, and you just kind of pull it up, and it pulls that little button up. So you're pulling the little button up to get in. This is a, a backup in case you don't have, unless your main tool doesn't work, sometimes you can use this, and this has been a lifesaver before. So, and besides that, you get a little pamphlets and things like that inside of it. But real quick, just to demo it, how it worked, Take your pry tool, I always put the stick down there. Pry tool, stick your little airbag in, right? Tighten this little valve right there and then you pump away, right? It's almost like a blood pressure gauge. So once you get it open like that, you get a good gap, then you can stick the tool in. You know, sometimes it's easier than others. Just gotta get in there. Sometimes you have to get through um, seals or, or things like those. Let's see, sometimes you need to make more room. This one here is real hard to get in. I can see that the, uh, some reason the uh, lining is really good on the door. So I may have to get into another angle. Let's see, I got in there. Now, for instance, I'm going way out of that direction. So I'm gonna need to bend the bar a little bit so it comes over to the door. So, I'm gonna go for, because this is an old school one, this does not have electrified locks. I would have to either pull the handle or I'd have to manually kind of hit the, the window roller and kind of push it one way and then push it the other way and then push it another way until it starts creeping down. So I'm gonna go with trying to pull the handle, which it's a little tight to get in here. Let me get the, uh, bar back out for a second. That's gotta go, there we go. Up high, okay, up high. And, and I gotta bend it. Come on. And sometimes your angle's not good and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna pull it out like right now. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna bring it just a little higher. And that way it gives me a better angle because it's real tight in there and I can't quite 
get the stick to go the direction I need it to go in. Okay. I'm gonna preemptively just bend the, the tool over a little bit more. Now it's got a bend to it. I'm in. And then I come over here to the door. Still not, it needs to bend more. So bend it more. Now we're talking, it's getting closer now. But I'm still having to bend it. And then I'm over the door handle now. And yeah, you can see that or not. You know, this one is being a little bit of a pain in the butt. But basically the concept is to grab the lever, pull it, and it's unlocked. So there you go. Trucks are a little bit more difficult because it's up here. That's why that one was kind of a pain in the butt because it's up so high above your head. So sometimes you need, uh, sometimes you'll need a little step stool to do it, depending on the vehicle. And sometimes the door seals will kind of pop a little bit out of place like it is right now. And you just pop it right back into place and it's good to go. So that's how you use the access tool uh, car opening kit. Um, most locksmiths use these. Back in the day, used to use Slim Jims and things like that. Not really useful anymore. Um, Slim Jims scratch up the windows. They, uh, they, they mess up the inside of your doors. They can pull a wire, so you don't really want to do that anymore. Call a professional or get you a kit, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in again. We appreciate the support as always. Um, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to our YouTube channels, we have three of them. Uh, Udro Panure, Guardian Approved, and of course, uh, Guardian Safe and Lock, our main uh, channel. Uh, thanks for all the support as usual. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. And don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, or on all the social media platforms. We appreciate the support. Thanks.